DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano, Bridge to the Streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on Dishes50.com. We live from One World Studios. Shout out my man, Boy Wonder. You know how we do. Got a special guest in the building. Introduce yourself. Man, I'm with Thorough. Man, I'm with the world famous Thorough, man. It's your boy, Zig, Z-I-G, you know what I'm saying? F-C-F, Ooh. Fruit City Family, baby, you know what I'm saying? Louisiana, Texas. And I'm in here, man. It's my first time in New York, man, but it's nothing but love, man. It's like family it's, out here. It's family, it's family, yeah. man. Now, before we get started, I want to ask you a simple question. Can can you rap? A little bit, man. A little bit. Yeah, I'm all right, man. You all right? Yeah. I mean, he can rap. Good. He's being modest. <laughs> all right, so glad you said that. So listen, I got this segment on this show, right? It's called On the Spot. You right. know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> that means you on the spot. See the yeah. spotlight? Yeah. Spotlight is on us right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we need to hear some bars, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I was, I was, man, I, honestly, I was hoping you would do that, man. Yeah, look, look, look at that. You get what you want up here. Yeah. You get what you want. You know, there it is. And I can't wait to hear this, because I know where you're from. I know what you rep. I know what it's about. All I need you to do is look into the camera. Yeah. Let them know the name, and impress the hell out of these people. Do you? Man, look. I'm going to be right back at you. Let me get my water, man. You know I'm going to need that. I like that. I like this guy. <laughs> Came to NY more fly than a plane. You know I'm going insane, pain like migraines. It's the Z I G. Let me do my thing. I be sitting back, relaxing, more dope than Kane. You know the name. This is Z to the I, and I'm fly. Peep that. Keep it just like a secret. Oh my, I ain't tripping on nothing. Look sweeter than muffins. Give them boys a concussion when I'm hitting. I'm rushing like a linebacker. I'm a rhyme rapper. Sit back, relax. You know I got it in the wrapper. It's wrapped up in plastic. Yep, it's in the package. Like I know magic, it's voodoo, what happened? They laid in the casket, yeah, them boys dead. I'm coming off of the head, you know that cap is red. That's Washington, you know what I'm saying? That shit's real, that's really how we feel. Got my mind on a meal, told my boy Thorough Chill, cause we give him the deal. That's what it really is, we could serve him a pill. If they need it, please believe it, believe in Jesus. Z-I-G, I see it, you know I got them seeded. Yeah, they gon' grow like a plant, they small like an ant. Cause I do what they can't, had to wear the black pants and came with the gray you know i don't play got the language to say it's e to the iggity i'm tall like a hickory watch when i'm spitting on the mic man busy as a busy bee man you know yo, that yo that's, that's dope. That you know what i'm saying that you know what i mean dope. i couldn't leave you with no bullshit See, I, did, I couldn't leave that you with was no... dope that was See, dope i'm glad you know what i like i like my i like my artists to sound like where they from yeah you know what i mean that's it i'm just old-fashioned like that like i, I like like you say you from i definitely know where you from yeah the, the terminology, the wig ring ripping, the swing, it, that's, that's huge, that's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I mean. So now, if a New York rapper came in here saying that same shit, I would be like, you influenced from Texas, because we don't, Right. that's not our culture. That's not, nobody here got swingers. Right. You, nobody. And I, man, I actually had them on a Buick, man. I had that's, a white Buick with the white <laughs> swing and the Vogue. Right. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's what I'm saying. If somebody come in here rapping about that from New York, they clearly, that's Texas shit. Nobody in New York City has swingers on a car. Yeah. Nobody. But anyway, so before we get into that, man, what we doing? What we promoting? What we got going on? Oh, man. The new thing, I, I just dropped, uh, it's a joint called Voodoo. Voodoo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You put Voodoo on, on people? No, no, no. It ain't It ain't nothing like that, man. Let me get out of here. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? We from Louisiana. We got ties. But, I know, get it. I yeah, get it. It's all connected, it. man. It's all connected. Right. But yeah, man, it's just like a little, a little joint I did, man. I was in the studio and the dude, he threw the beat on and it had like... The tag said, uh, hey, Voodoo, run that shit up. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So we just named it that. Right. So how long you been doing music, exactly? Man, prof like on the kind of like professional tip, I've been doing it for like 10, maybe, you 10? know what I mean? Right. About 10. Right. But since I was like, like in junior high, man, they, you know, we was freestyling, you know, hitting see, on the tables see, and all that. See, you see, that's what I said, because I know that culture out there, it, you know, it, it birthed that, you know what I mean? Like the whole screwed up click. Like, I, I, I know about this. Like, I have these, I still have these tapes, you know what I mean? The chopping screw tapes from, from screw. And dudes, they can spit, you that's know what I mean? That's influenced me, man. They, yeah, they, they, they can spit. So, by you saying that, I know that's the culture out there. That's why I hold people from Houston, New York, Detroit. All these cities to a different standard because legendary people came out of it. Detroit, you took Eminem. Obviously, New York, Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Same thing with Houston and L.A. 
Like a lot of cities, legendariness came out of it. You know what I mean? Right, right. So let's talk um, your upbringing. Like, who were you listening to growing up? Like, how did you get into hip hop? Man, it's like on a like hip hop rap and shit started like real real early. Like, um, I remember I remember hearing Two Live Crew and them. <laughs> you know Luke, what I'm saying? Brother yeah. Marquise, okay. Like oh like old shit like that, you know? Right. MC Hammer and shit, old school shit. Right. And then when I started hearing like screwing them and what they did, you know what I'm saying? That's and especially like Lil Kiki, like Lil Kiki. Specifically him. Right. Some about his flow and everything like that. Like I really gravitated toward right. it, you know what I mean? And um that just it just really made me feel like like, yo, they they right from, you know, right it's, up the road. Right. I could I could do that, you, you could know, do I it could too. do some shit. Even with your boy like, Paul Wall. G K and them, yeah. Yeah. I, I got on the Paul Wall a little bit later, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really know too much about him or whatever, but my right. bros, they was on him, you know, real heavy, and they put me on him. But, yeah, it was mostly mostly Kiki, like Pat and Kiki and Pokey and them, you Pokey, know what I'm saying? Yep. But, yeah. Right. For sure. Word, word. So, um, let's talk videos. Do you have any videos out right now that people that may not be familiar with you, they can go check out right now and see what you're about? Yeah, man, I got a lot of videos on So YouTube. what would be the first sure. video you would want them to see that represents you? Probably Light Switch, man. Light Switch. What is yeah, that about? That shit went, it's like a dance. It's like a club banger. It's kind of like, you know, twerky and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, girls dancing and all that. But, yeah, man, we did that. We filmed some of it in Orange. We filmed some of it in Beaumont. Okay. You know, Texas. And right. Everything. And, yeah, man, it's just like, it went viral. You know what I mean? Right. It went low-key viral. Right. You know what I'm saying? They played it in um <clears throat> matter of fact, yeah. I'm glad you yeah. They played it in uh in, in Toronto. In Toronto. On yeah. the uh yeah, on the radio station, the Hits ninety three. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um so like a couple people whenever they heard that song and then they like a couple years later, you know what I'm saying, Drake did the song with um the sick old mode. Yeah, sick old mode. Yeah, Drake, like a light. Right. Yeah, like, like a light. Drake took my a lot shit of Houston culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, so I don't want to. I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I, I fuck with Drake. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I fuck with Drake too. But yeah. he took a lot of Houston culture. Right, right. You know. And that, so some yeah. people, some people, some people think that, like he might have caught wind of my. You know what I mean? Right. That joint and kind of threw it's it in there a little bit. Possibly, like I said, he caught. He he, he did a lot of. Um, a lot of people copy Houston culture. Even rappers from here, ASAP Rocky. Yeah. His whole influence was rappers from yeah, Houston. Yeah, but we all influenced. You right. know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not right. holding nothing no, against I don't Drake. Hold no, you know what I mean? don't hold nothing against people influenced. I hold I hold it against them when they deny it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, I got to ask you a question too. I always ask artists this question. At least the ones that I'm interested in, right? I'm going to give you one record, right? Yeah. You can put any artist on this record. Yeah. Now, it's hypothetical. So the artist could be dead or alive. It could be any genre of music. It doesn't have to be hip hop or rap. Right, right. Who would you put? Who would you do that record with? They could be dead or alive. Any genre, any era of music. Okay. One artist. Who are you gonna do that record with? Just, it, just any record. I could just do yeah. any record. Yeah, one record though, and it could be any artist from any era, from any genre of music, dead or alive. Who would you do a record with? Man, bro, like that. That's a that's a good question. That's a real good question, man. Thank you. Um, me personally, with the way the way that I was really influenced, I feel like I would do probably something with Lil Kiki. Lil Kiki, okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, just just the way like listening to him, right? And just the way he made me want to rap. You know what I mean? And every like that's that's a real good question though. It's, it's a lot. Right. It's a lot. Right. It's a lot of people. Right. But. I'd have to say probably Kiki, man, Kiki. for sure. All right, so sure. there it is, man. All right, so listen, man. How can people get in contact with you? Follow you or get some merchandise or just pick your brain? How can they get in contact with you? Oh uh, man, you can hit me on zigfcf.com. You know what I'm saying? That's my little website or whatever. Okay. You can hit me on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, a million views. Z i g f c f t v. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can hit me on Facebook. Right. Brandon Carl Dugas, that's my government name, that's my real name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which, which brings me to this question: How do from Brandon? How do we Zig? What does Zig mean? Man, my my bro, <laughs> my bro Rob from the Bronx. Whenever he came, whenever he was living out there and shit, like, and this was when we was kids, man, growing up. He he was why he was always giving people nicknames, always you know on some trippy shit. Right. So he just came up with that shit one day. And like I don't, I don't even know why. I don't know where. You would still have to ask him. 
It's some kind of crazy. It's, it's some kind of crazy name. It's like Ziga Digga 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 Man, I, like, okay, so, I, like, I want to talk to you, man. I want to ask you. Okay. So you, like, cause this, this is what my bro Jesse was telling me. Like, you, you, you like fifties DJ and stuff like yeah, that. Like, you do, 50, you do work with him. Wu Tang Clan, yeah. Cassidy. That's what he was telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got to do your research too. So don't let him tell you. Do your research. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, man, I, I had heard of you, but I didn't know everything that you did. Right, you know what I'm cool. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you got, I mean? got my hands in pretty much everything, but yeah, DJ. DJ, Wu Tang Clan, Fifty Cent, Cassidy, um, Jazzo, Jay Z's mentor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, really? A lot of people, man. But yeah, so that's what it is, man. So listen, man. Before we get out of here, once again, anything else you want to speak on? Man, I just want. Hey, man, I just want to shout out Thorough. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out my girl for coming out here with me, man. You know she didn't bring no gumbo. She she <laughs> she didn't bring no gumbo, man. Well, you know. <laughs> but she got she got some New York pizza, man. So you know that's cool. Right, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, I want to shout out my bro Jesse. You know what I'm saying? Jesse. Shout Jess. out Jesse, man, yep. for real. All you know right. what I'm saying? Um, my main man right here on the boy camera, Wonder. man. That's yeah, my man, boy Wonder. Boy Wonder. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all can't see him right now. That's Hustle, man. That's all. That's all East Coast Nipsey Hustle right there. Man. Yeah, yeah. Word. He own everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I, man, I want to shout out FCF. You know what I'm saying? My, the whole family, the whole Fruit City family. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that mess with me. You know what I'm saying? Louisiana, Texas. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, that boy PAT. You know what I'm saying? MMC. You know what I'm saying? That boy Mike P. AP. You know what I'm saying? I gotta shout out everybody, man. Right. Shout out that boy D Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Shout out that boy Baby Easy. You know what I'm saying? Young Puda. You know what I'm saying? I see you, man. You doing your shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, we did our thing. Like, together we was coming up. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all love to see you doing your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I really got to shout you out. You know what I'm saying? For showing love. And you know what That's I'm saying? That's what I do, man. Up in here, man. That's what I do, man. I appreciate you, know? you, brother. Yeah, man. I appreciate you, right. man. I appreciate right. you, brother. So, that's what it is, man. DJ Thorough. Let him know the name. Man, Thorough Z-I-G. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Interview. And like always, when you see us. One knee us, that means pay respect. Ten men, twenty men, thirty men. I'm on something. Ten men, twenty men, thirty men. That's what's up. Ten men, twenty men, 